Hi, hello. Oh, to my amazing friends all over the world, this is your buddy Stable. So today we are gonna going to see about how we can install Cisco uh, Emergency Responder Server Subscriber. Uh, the version which we are going to try out today is 11.5.x, but uh, the process remains stay same for uh, almost it's like uh, all versions. So we are going to see this in two stages. So the first one being uh, taking care of the DNS and uh, adding the subscriber node entry into the publisher. The second process being deploying the OVA for subscriber and I will walk you over through the whole installation process. So guys, before we move on to adding subscriber hostname entry into the publisher node, uh, we have to make sure whether DNS was configured properly. Trust me, most of the subscriber CR installation fails due to DNS. So uh, we have to double ensure whether DNS is taken care of. So in my case, I was using a Windows DNS server. So you can see here, I have added the appropriate forward and reverse DNS lookup entries here. So I hope you guys were aware of how to add these entries. So let me move on to the next step. So now from the publisher CLI, let's verify whether are we pointed to the right DNS server, are we having the right domain name and uh, whether publisher is able to resolve the host name of subscriber or not. So for that, uh, let me show the following command that is show network each zero detail. So this will give you details about the DNS. So if you see uh, at the bottom, it gives uh, the IP address of primary DNS server and the domain name. So verify that thing and after which let's try to resolve the subscribers host name. So we can see here under external resolution, it was able to resolve to the right IP address. So this means that forward lookup is working fine. We also have to check the re reverse lookup as well. So let's give the IP address of the subscriber. Yes, and we can see that uh, we are getting the right host name as well. So now let's move on to adding the subscriber host name entry into the publisher node. So right now we are into the web page of the publisher. So I have logged into the Cisco ER administration page. So herein we have to go into system then add subscriber. So right now you can see it is like only the publisher entry is listed over here. So herein we have to give the host name of our subscriber. Uh, one another uh, cautionary notice. You can only give the host name here. We won't be able to give the uh, IP address of your uh, subscriber node, like as we do in other UC products like CUCM and Unity. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see here that uh, subscriber node is successfully added, and uh, you can see uh, uh, the appropriate IP address reflecting. Uh, against the subscriber node. This means that we are DNS is good. So now we are successfully done with stage one. Let's move on to stage two. So now we are uh, into the most important segment that is uh, deploying and installing the CER subscriber. So for this, we need to uh, download the uh, OVA. You can download the um, CER uh, related OVA from Cisco CCO website. So, uh, and uh, plus, you also need bootable ISO file to install the server. For that, you can uh, require assistance from Cisco Tag. They should be able to uh, publish the ISO file to you. So after you have deployed the OVA and created the VM, we have to do two changes. That is, uh, you right click uh, on uh, uh, appropriate VM and click edit settings. So first we have to mount the bootable ISO file to the uh, CD DVD drive. So for that you under it's like virtual hardware, you expand the CD DVD drive option. 
so um, you browse to the uh, ISO file and uh, click mount then uh, you have you also make sure you select these two options that is connected power on and connected so next we move into VM options so uh, we, we also have to change the boot order uh, priority to boot from the CD DVD ROM so for that uh, what you will be doing is that we have to check mark this particular option that is during the next boot uh, we have to force entry into the BIOS setup screen so therein uh, we will be changing uh, the boot order to boot from CD DVD drive so all the necessary changes have been done let me click OK and power on the VM So once we power off the VM, we will be taken directly into the uh, BIOS setup utility. So herein you have to come to the fourth tab that is boot option and uh, then so you have to bring in the CD uh, room drive to the top. So how you will be doing is that you will be pressing shift plus so that it comes up. So then you go to exit then click exit saving changes. So now you can see uh, the media from CD ROM drive was detected and it's loaded. So first it's asking for some media check. You can uh, 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 click OK or you can skip this process. Okay, so now the product has been detected as Cisco Emergency Responder. You just select OK. Let's then move on to the next screen. So herein you just verify uh, whether the version is correct or not. Yeah, it's good. Let's move to the next screen. Okay, now click proceed to proceed forward with installation. So now let me click continue and move forward. So here and you select the appropriate time zone uh, you need for the server. Click OK. So you, you don't have to modify this setting you just click continue. And regarding the MTU size you can leave it as it is. Click no that, that is you don't have to modify that. Then. Uh, we are going to statically uh, assign IP address to the server. So I am clicking no for DHCP. So you just give the uh, appropriate host name, IP address, mask and uh, uh, gateway for this particular server. So for subscriber, we don't have to give the NTP details because it will fetch it from the uh, publisher automatically. So let me move on. Okay, now uh, I am clicking no for DNS. Okay. So in this screen here, you have to give the uh, administrator user ID and password, which you would like to use for your uh, um, platform. So the, this credentials would be used to log in into the CLA of the server. Let me move on to the next screen. Okay, so this one here uh, asks you for the organization, unit, location, state, and country details. Uh, these parameters were used to uh, generate a self signed certificate for your server. So make sure uh, you give the same details uh, as that of your publisher. Let me move on to the next screen. This is the important screen wherein the demarcation between the publisher and subscriber installation happens. So in case if you are installing a publisher, you will be clicking yes, because you can see the question here that is, is this server a publisher? 
so for publisher we will be giving yes and the next screen you will be presented is uh, ntp server details you just give the ntp server uh, ip address and then you move on and give the security password followed by the application username password but in our case uh, we are installing the subscriber node so i'm just going to click no Uh, this window here um, asks us to add the subscriber entry into the publisher node before proceeding with installation since we have already done that part um, let me click ok and proceed forward so herein it asks that um, uh, that whether the subscriber should uh, first uh, validate the connection to the publisher and then proceed ahead with the installation or not uh, we click no here Mm, now so in order for the subs subscriber to uh, uh, get in touch with the publisher it needs to know the publisher's detail first so for that uh, herein you give the publisher's host name and IP address followed by the security password um, and one most it's like uh, important thing I would like to share it with you here security password is something uh, important and it is completely different from the uh, platform uh, password so mo most often I can see that people uh, th uh, think that security password and uh, uh, platform password both are same no it's not uh, they say uh, they serve actually a different purpose so security password was used to establish intercluster communication among the nodes and uh, while you are taking backups and other related things uh, platform password is used to log in into certain specific uh, web pages of your uh, um, CI server and also to get into the CLI so so always so make sure uh, you uh, keep a note of the security password uh, in some safe place so let me click OK and proceed forward So the screen asks whether we need to configure simple mail transfer protocol or not. Uh, we can click no and proceed forward. Okay, so we are finally into the last screen. Um, so beyond this point, we won't be make, able to make any modification or changes. So if in case uh, you want to review the configuration or to make uh, uh, some corrections, you click the back button and make the changes. So in my case, I am sure that uh, all those things which I have given was perfect. So let me click OK and start the installation process. So now the installation starts. So um, we, are, we have successfully uh, done all the uh, necessary configurations. So the installation will take some 15 to 20, at least 15 to 20 plus minutes of time. Uh, we have to oh, wait uh, till that so after the installation is complete uh, uh, you can uh, uh, validate the server by logging into the CLI or uh, through the GUI so yeah that is the whole installation process so after some 30 minutes plus time I can see that my subscriber was successfully installed uh, and I have verified uh, it by getting into the console and I have logged in. So that's it guys, we have successfully installed the subscriber.